Numerical Computation, Chapter One, Introduction to MATLAB. MATLAB will be used in this course for implementing the numerical algorithms we learn. MATLAB is an advanced program package tool specially designed for numerical computation, and it has a strong visualization toolbox. One can think of a MATLAB as a fancy and、um, powerful calculator with many, many more other options. At the same time, it's also a programming language. Some of the advantages of using MATLAB versus other standard programming languages are the following: it is relatively easy to use and to program. So, if one has some preliminary knowledge on、um, basic programming, and learning MATLAB shall be a very easy task. And also, MATLAB、um, does not need a compiler, so meaning it can be run interactively、um, in the command window or in the file, which is called a script file. This is something called dynamic compiling, so you don't need to compile your code before you run it. And it also allows very powerful、um, visualization. It has two-dimensional and three-dimensional plots, and as well as、um, animations and movies. The best part of it would be、um, it has many, many built-in numerical functions that are specially designed for what we'll be needing in this course. And later on, for more advanced programmings,、um, one can develop various toolboxes for MATLAB. And also, if you have codes you have written in Fortran or in C, and now you wish to use MATLAB, you don't have to throw away those programs. You could link them into MATLAB. Of course, these are more advanced stuff. Okay, so the way the MATLAB is designed is using this object-oriented programming concept. Well, some disadvantages of MATLAB would be that it's relatively slow if you compare to Fortran or C or C++. The reason for that is that it does this、um, dynamic compiling, so it compiles. At the same time as it executes a file, the basic data type in MATLAB is actually、um, a matrix. So any number or vector are all treated as matrix. So if you have a number there, it's treated as a matrix of size one times one, and for a column vector, for example, of length three, and it's treated as a matrix of one times three, and so on and so forth. And it's called MATLAB,、um, abbreviation for Matrix Laboratory. So it's particularly good to handle matrix type problem. For example,、um, you want to solve a system of linear equations. So in the end, you write it as ax equals to b, and finding that is the most powerful thing in MATLAB. And many other unrelated features. With matrices such as、um, eigenvalues and eigenvectors and factorizations and so on and so forth, and they are all well developed. So, repeat it again. So, basic data type matrices, and it's of double precision. Here are some simple examples of what you can do in MATLAB. Once you open the MATLAB, in the command window, you can just type in what you wanted to do. So here are a couple examples of how to say generate a number in a variable. Say if you want a to be equal to two, you just write a equal to two, and if you hit return, MATLAB shows you now I have this variable a, and its value is two. And now let's see how to、um, put in a matrix of size three times two, so three columns and two rows. So you would type in the first row one, comma three point five, comma four point six, 
and this you have to put in a semicolon what it means is that this is the end of this row and after that you start the second row and you type in the number so you see once you hit return MATLAB shows you now I have a matrix A which looks like this so remember the semicolon means it kind of like the return it tells you that it's it goes to the next row okay so if you want to generate a column vector say X shall be a column vector with the three elements so you would type the first one and you have to put a semicolon and the second semicolon and the third so um, now this symbol pi here is predefined in MATLAB to represent the famous pi okay so now you see you have a column vector in X and this command whose here um, would show you that um, all the variables that you have defined so far that are active available in MATLAB right now so here now we have three we have a which is a matrix it tells you the size and the a is a number you see it tells you the size is one times one and next is a vector the size is three times one now let's go through a short example on how to solve ax equals to b and let's take an example say I have a 3 by 3 matrix A which looks like that I just randomly put in number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 0 and this is the unknown vector x and this is the right hand side let's just put 1 2 3 here is how you do it in MATLAB so you first have to generate the A matrix as we discussed before you type in the three numbers 1 comma 2 comma 3 so by the way you could simply put a space here which would work as well it works the same as comma in this content okay but then after three numbers make sure put a semicolon and then three numbers a semicolon and three numbers now you have your matrix A and for the right hand side vector here it's we call it B and we just type it in one semicolon two semicolon three so MATLAB shows you okay now I have a B and finally to solve for this so theoretically you know this should equal to A inverse times B so in MATLAB there is a shorthand for it it's this A backslash B so you want to return this value and receive it in this variable X so X equals to that and what it returns is the X vector which is the solution exactly for this system of equations there is also another way of um, computing the same thing here here you could type in x equals to i n v which means the inverse of the matrix a that's a matrix operation and you do this that's the multiply sign multipl multiplying the vector b okay and that would um, give you the same result so go ahead and give it a try and uh, you should go through um, the um, handout on introduction for MATLABs and go through all the examples there and just read through and type in and play with it and get yourself familiar with MATLAB